Professor Weasley? Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where in Merlin's name is that elf? Is that... Goodness! My old school bag! I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Rebellion. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. This isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop the Revelio! No, oh, not uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin.
Revelio. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Revelio. What was that? Akia, you found your own stitch. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Leviosa. Revelio. Akio. Revelio. Revelio. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. yourself quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. 
One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable resource. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement has its own rules. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have, and seems to know it's every nook, cranny, and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor?
Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Protego! Would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course! Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie, as if I'm in the Forbidden Forest, surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely.
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play golf all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well.
You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candles. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work! How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Actually, Sebastian brought me there. But he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the Headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. 
I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. What a string of bad luck. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I had no idea. How awful. Last I heard, he'd gone to Romania. As rumour would have it, he developed a sudden interest in dragons. One can only hope he found more happiness working with them than he did with Flora. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. What is the reason for these additional assignments, Professor? They're meant to help you hone your magical skills outside of the classroom, thus preparing you to learn a new charm, Wingardium Leviosa. Before we plant the seed, we must till the soil. When you're finished with them, come and see me and we'll work on the charm together. I look forward to it. Any more cozy than Hogsmeade? If anyone ever knew how to keep mother out. Just let me know if there's something in particular you're looking for. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? Let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Ah, the secret is do the hard work first. And let the... Have a look around. I'll be with you in just a minute. Well, what say we show you some of what's available? Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Such a wee bairn and a thrash into a troll. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. Revelio.
Simply too many. <laughs> Revelio. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecket tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, you should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Wingardium Leviosa here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Wingardium Leviosa. You're a natural. you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent, outside of Ronan's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court isn't just a game, it's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's mettle. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. One for the ages.
nothing to it. Not bad. Not bad. Akio. All in the wrist. Akio. Well done. You beat me. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that your metal's been tested and that you passed.